Hi, this is Scott with Qubit, and I'm going to show you how to work with tunnel profiles in Point Cloud Pro. You can see we have a tunnel in AutoCAD here, along with a center line that was derived from the field. And we're going to use our multi slice tool to multiple slice along this center line path or curve. So, what we need to do is select this curve in AutoCAD first. and it gives you your starting and end point and now I'm going to choose how often I'd like a slice along this interval so let's say every 25 feet you also have the option of manually inserting uh, slicing uh, points by clicking in AutoCAD or typing it into that prompt and I'm gonna keep the thickness of each slice around two inch thick per profile and I'm gonna go ahead and color these slices I click finish when I'm ready and you can see multiple slices are created 25 feet from each other and in my section manager I have a slice um, representing uh, and each uh, for each slice in the section manager there's one on the screen just to show you quickly uh, we're roughly 25 feet and I just chose two points arbitrarily so 25 feet uh, apart per profile slice so I'm going to turn all of these slices off in the section manager. I'll just highlight everything. And turn one off. And I'm going to choose one individual slice profile to work with at a time. So I'll choose something that looks good. And in my tools at the top of my ribbon, I'm going to create a slice automatically, or excuse me, a UCS from the slice. I zoom in and I can see right on the profile my UCS is set up for this view and I can easily take dimensions if I want to so that's no problem but I also want to show you how you can digitize these profiles easily without having to do each one by hand which can be a long process so we're going to use the polygon fit tool and the way we start this off is I'm just going to draw a very rough sketch around the perimeter giving the polygon fit tool a number of vertices to work with so it can choose how to fit these vertices best to this profile and when I'm finished I just click close and now I hit enter and you can see the dirty line conforms now to the point cloud Now moving on to the next profile, I can use this already fitted line as a starting place for my fit polygon on the next profile. If you notice in the command prompt, I can choose to select objects instead of drawing each one. So I'm going to do S for select objects. And I'll orbit so you can see. I'm going to select my previous fitted line, hit enter. And what you notice is the next profile is fit automatically and it did a best fit based on those number of vertices so you can continue to do this for each section that you want to fit or each profile that you would like to digitize I'll do this one quickly select and enter and you can see even though this is a very different profile shape it fit quite well one more here and enter and fits very well so then if you want to use your traditional AutoCAD modeling commands let's say to start modeling um, from profile to profile we're going to use a, a loft command in this example now, typically you would take your time going through and fitting uh, each one of the profiles that you need, but I'm going to loft each profile to the next to start getting an as-built model of the tunnel. And of course, 
you can be more accurate by using cross sections more closely to each other and I turn on all points so you can see the overlay of the cloud data with the model maybe change view if you want to see a, a realistic view of the tunnel and that's all